The history of New Braunfels is visible all about our town. It's even on the walls. So in 1980, when the Granzine family bought Naglin's, Texas' oldest bakery, you can bet the eyes of Texas were upon them. Turns out what they really had bought was a sweet piece of Texas history. It actually started as a soda pop place. He made soda pops first here. Okay. Then it kind of continued in, then he started making breads. And that's where it all started. You know, he, everybody always said he bought that one bag of flour with them right. at 50 cents or right. something like that. Right. Actually, it was a soda pop thing. It started first, and then he started with the, the bacon and the bread and stuff, and he just kind of delivered it around town. <laughs> making uh, bear claws, Tina. They'll put some uh, butter and some um, oil mixture together to kind of get the dough kind of wet. Then he'll stick like, you know, pecans and brown sugar, mostly brown sugar in the middle. Then he'll fold it over after he does that. And people actually come in here and ask me, do you have anything with no sugar? And I say, no. Do you have anything with no sugar? No. Yeah, no. <laughs> Yeah, Dutch apple. We got Dutch apple, peach, and cherry we sell. They got like a lattice work on top. Yeah, we started doing tortillas, Tina, probably about probably two years ago. And uh, me and my brother from the barbecue place there, Miles, we had actually uh, started talking about it. He goes, Ross, what are we going together? We'll, we'll get us a machine and uh, we'll start making tortillas. And I said, well, that'd be fine. Okay, so are these German tortillas? I guess so. <laughs> Made by a German boy, really I guess. Good. I make a little bit of every, every, every day, you know, everything, you know. This is a happy place. I feel like I'm in like Santa's little kitchen workshop or something. Everybody's doing their, their part and everybody's happy and it's really good. And it smells like Christmas. Yeah, they could be my little elves here. We'll all be elves. <laughs> Probably six months at the Mr. Ned and he stayed around and he showed us all the ropes around here. He, he started me out, I was back there cleaning pans. It's not a fun job, but at least right. I learned from the bottom all the way up. What is your biggest talent? It's got to be the apple strudel now. The apple apple strudel and bear claws. And now we have a sweet pretzel. That's been a, probably a good seller for like 10 years now. We started out 10 years ago. Why should I come to Naglin's over any other place? What would you say? Because we use the best ingredients and we take our time and we do everything right the way it used to be done. Mm -hmm. And we've added a lot of new stuff too since we've been here. But there's a good sense of tradition here. So you're quite the celebrity. This isn't anything new for you. We've had a couple of cable shows that do uh, cooking shows. They've been in here uh -huh. and filmed a bunch of stuff. Yeah, yeah people like it. You know, it's just cool. You know, it's the oldest baker in Texas, it's you know. It's the oldest baker in Texas. And while you're in New Braunfels, make sure you stop by Naglin's Bakery, the oldest bakery in Texas, famous for their apple strudel. It's delicious. Todd says the best story is about Barbara Mandrell. She came in with uh, a hairnet on, some sort of a hair uh, scarf, a uh, pair of dark sunglasses. Came in and looked at the items, went back out in the car and sent her husband back in to buy them. Who said it was okay to leave change sitting around, hanging out in jars? I guess you call it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to dip with the vessel. There you go. So, okay, how do you do this? So all you want to do is just throw it in here like this and just kind of scoot it to the side of the bucket, and there you go. Oh, yeah, okay. just a little scoop. Okay, let's see. There you Ooh, go. I, I like that sound that it makes when it falls <laughs> in the icing. See, I can work here. Tina, what? what do you think you're doing? What's up with all the mustaches around here? Just kind of the thing to do. <laughs> so tell me, do you you guys ship you ship cakes, you ship cookies, you ship strudels? No, we don't ship no cakes. Won't go through the mail, but no everything cake. else, you know, anything else we can ship, we do. Mm -hmm. And our internet's it's grown over the last couple of years, really big for us. So send all over the United States and out of the states too. We, actually, we sent one to uh, Alaska, sent a strudel up there, and they, and we we wanted to find out. We, so we called the guy how it got there and how it worked out. He goes, well, it was good, but it was frozen the time I got here because it was like 30 <laughs> below. I said, well, what you expect in Alaska? it'd still be good. <laughs> Some of these ladies have been here quite a long time. Yeah, I got two of my ones here, Della and uh, Renata. They've been here over 30 years, both of them, so uh -huh. they've been around for a while. I started work here with Mr. Naglin. I guess I worked about a year and a half for him. And then Mr. Granzine, Wilbur Granzine, he bought the bakery, I guess, in 1980. And uh, I've been here ever since. <laughs>
Do you think Mr. Nagler would be proud of the way that this business is Oh gosh, yes. Yes. He would be very pleased. He would be very mm -hmm. pleased. There's, mm -hmm. there's a beautiful sense of tradition here, mm -hmm. is it? Oh yes. Well, there you have it. The Granzine family found the key to their success lies in staying true to the past. You can bet Naglin's traditions, history, and generations of recipes are in great hands. Oh, and if you're wondering about the future, the next generation, it seems that's in good hands, so, too. Okay, well, I hear that um, Parker's going to teach me uh, how to make poppy seed bread. Right, Parker? Yep. All right, so how do I start? Well, let's move to the room. Let's move to the room. I'm after, I'm after you. Boy. Is he a pro? Or what? <laughs> <laughs> How long you been helping out over here? Since you can remember? A long time. I used to stand on the bucket because I was too small. When are you going to take over the business for your old man? I hope in a. Um, I hope sooner. Whenever I'm 20 or so.